Movie buffs, welcome back to the Movie Bay. This is D. In today's video, we're going to take a look at everything in my collection starring J.K. Simmons. I love J.K. Simmons. I think he's an absolute beast of a talent. Um, he's also a phenomenal voice actor, too. He, You're going to see here some of the stuff that he voiced, but he voiced a lot of animated stuff. Not Now, when I say he's a great voice talent, he's not up there with like a Clancy Brown or a or John DiMaggio or somebody like that, but he's a really good recognized uh, voice talent. So without further ado, let's dive in and take a look at some of the stuff, well, all of the stuff that I have starring J.K. Simmons. Um, starting with Harsh Times with Christian Bale. A really good cop movie, really good cop movie. You guys will like this one. Christian Bale is phenomenal. Uh, let's see here, Juno. This was an interesting movie. A decent little coming of age film. And I, I love this movie. Listen to this cast. George Clooney, Francis McDermott, John Malkovich, Tilda, uh, Tilda Swinton, and Brad Pitt. Burn After Reading. This was a good movie. Then we got one of my favorite Wahlberg movies. Again, like I said before, I like Wahlberg movies, a lot of them, but I don't like him. He just, something about him I don't like, but I do got a lot of his movies. I do like a lot of his movies. There's several actors I don't really like, but I do like some of their stuff. And then some of them I just won't even support and buy their stuff, even used. Uh, he's not one of those. He's not that bad. So Mark Wahlberg and Patriot's Day. This was actually part of a trilogy with, now the trilogy, the, the movies aren't connected, but he he worked with a director and he agreed to do three films for this director. So I just call these movies a trilogy. Uh, so you got Patriot's Day, Event Horizon, and Lone Survivor. All three of them are great movies too. This one is the this is my favorite out of that out of the trilogy. Followed by Event Horizon and then Lone Survivor. Probably one of the most hated. Well, I can't say that because outside of Terminator 2, almost everything that came after Terminator 2 got hated on, got got shitted on, except for like, I must say, even Salvation got dumped on, but it seemed like a lot of people like Salvation. I couldn't stand Salvation. To me, that's probably the weakest one out of all the Terminator movies. That's my opinion. But this one, I actually liked it. It was, a, it was, the story was a little out there, but for the most part, I dug this one, and it's Terminator Genesis. I dug it. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. It's not top three or top whatever, but it was all right for a Terminator movie. I've been made peace with the fact that you're not going to get anything in the Terminator franchise. If they can make Terminator 100, you're not going to get one that's going to top Terminator and Terminator 2, but I made peace with that. So anything that came after T2, I, I just kind of watched it and scrutinized it for what it was, and this movie wasn't that bad. It wasn't like great, but it wasn't that bad. I mean, as far as like Terminator movies, I would rank this. Let's see. Terminator 2 is number one. Terminator is number two. Terminator 3 is three. Um, then I would put, I would put this right, right after that one. This is like number four. I even like this one better than Terminator Dark Fate. That's my opinion though. So it wasn't great. I'm not saying the movie was great, but it wasn't horrible. It's just not Terminator 2. So there it is. Um, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy. We know that J.K. Simmons was J. Jonah Jameson in all of these. And he did a fantastic job. Uh, Aston Kutcher in Jobs. This was a really good movie. There's another movie based on Steve Jobs. I forget what that one is called, but this was good. That was real good. Um, 21 Bridges. Rest in peace to Chadwick Boseman. Gone way too soon. This was a pretty decent cop movie. It really was. It really was. This is one that I really, really enjoyed. And, and you know what? The critics enjoyed this one, too. The fans enjoyed it. This was a really good movie. And that is Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters Afterlife. Now, I didn't see Frozen Kingdom. I heard that the, it just wasn't good. And I think it killed the franchise. I don't think we're going to see any more Ghostbusters movies. I don't think so. I hope we do, but I don't think so. At least not like in this timeline, I don't think. Because I think that movie did really bad. But um, this one was good. Ghostbusters Afterlife. This was really, really good. Phenomenal movie. And here go... No, I'll save the voice work for later. 
his voice work, the ones that I have at least. Then we're going to see Jack Snyder's The Snyder Cut of Justice League, which transformed the movie into a totally different movie. Whiplash. Whiplash is probably in my this is my favorite performance from J.K. Simmons. This is my favorite, absolute favorite performance from J.K. Simmons. Okay, Spider-Man No Way Home. And some of his uh, some of his voice work here. We got Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. We got Justice League Unlimited Season 2. And then he was in all seasons of The Legend of Korra. This is an Avatar The Last Airbender story, but this is Korra, The Legend of Korra. Fantastic show. Really, really good show. Same with Avatar The Last Airbender. Great cartoon. The trying to, when M. Night Shyamalan adapted it to the screen, it just didn't work, but the cartoon was really, really good. And so is Korra. So let's recap this real quick. So we got The Legend of Korra. We got Justice League Unlimited. Season 2, I do believe he was in. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Spider-Man No Way Home. Whiplash. The Snyder Cut of the Justice League. Ghostbusters Afterlife. 21 Bridges. Jobs, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man Trilogy, Terminator Genesis, it really wasn't that bad. It wasn't, I'm not going to say it was great, but it really wasn't that bad. Patriot's Day, this was a really good movie. I mean, this was a good one right here. All right. This is a movie I can just put on and watch. Burn After Reading, good movie. Juno, this is a really good coming of age movie if you like those kind of movies. And Harsh Times with Christian Bale. You can't go wrong with Christian Bale. So that's J.K. Simmons. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.